Hi guys, this is Tobo Heinrich and in this video we're going to talk about my experiences with the Sicario Pro. Okay, so this is the Sicario Pro 8 inch X8 copter from RRFPV and um, I've been flying it for over a year now. I took it to many different locations, used it on different shoots and projects and today we're going to talk about my experiences that I had with the drone so far. It runs on 8 inch props and together with the motors uh, you can carry a payload up to 3 kilograms which is perfectly fine for the Z-cam that I use but also other box shaped cinema cameras work as well. The reason why I choose the Sicario is because of the frame design. I was looking into buying a box shaped cinema camera like the Red Komodo or the Panasonic BJH-1. Now I decided to go with the Z-cam. Box shaped cinema cameras just fit right into the frame because everything is nicely centered and um, it's not too top heavy. So the copter is very nicely balanced and has a good flight performance. So far I didn't have any problems with the Sicario and it really delivers all the shots that I'm trying to get with it. But there are some ups and downs with it. Okay, so let's talk about when do I actually use the Sicario. The Sicario is perfect for any outdoor situations where you do have enough space because it is a big drone that carries a Cinecam, but you also need to go very fast and agile. That's when you want to choose the Sicario. So it pretty much flies like a 5-inch freestyle copter. The biggest difference is the way it handles turns and corners because it is way heavier than a small drone with a GoPro. So due to its weight, it tends to pull turns wider. That can be a positive aspect when you're trying to get very smooth and natural looking shots. But also you gotta keep that in mind if you're flying close to objects, let's say buildings, cars or trees. It does drift a little bit in the corners. So always make sure to fly safe and not hit anything. So there are some downsides when using a Cinelifter. That has nothing to do with the Sicario itself, but more so uh, the Cinelifter genre itself, because these are big, heavy and pricey drones. And the biggest downside for me is that everything takes a little bit longer to set up. The camera angle, all the camera settings, the lens, the focus, which ND you're gonna choose. It just takes a little bit longer to set it up. The reward for that, of course, is that you get way better shots and the footage just looks very crisp. So with the copter at this size and price point, you really don't wanna rush anything. So that means that in some situations, if there is not enough time scheduled for setting up and getting everything ready, you might not get the shot. Um, in those situations, it's way easier to just whip out the 5-inch freestyle copter, put a GoPro on top and get the shot with that because usually that goes a little bit faster. In situations where you do have the time to set everything up and double check everything, then of course the Sicario delivers footage that a GoPro just could not get you. So all in all, the Sicario for me is a very reliable drone. I love the flight characteristics, I feel very safe flying it and it just delivers the footage that I just could not get with a GoPro and therefore this is the perfect workhorse for me. Alright, and that's it for today. If you do have any questions regarding the Sicario, um, let me know in the comments. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one.